Harden to the Nets, is that really possible to happen? I mean, when I first heard it, Rich, I was kind of, I, I laughed a little bit. I was like, wait, like Harden and Kyrie are both technically point guards, right? I mean, I know Harden sort of converted from shooting guard to point guard in Mike D'Antoni's system. Kyrie is more of a shooting point guard. I don't see how that totally fits. But the way the NBA goes is that, you know, players talk, players work out together, players decide, um, they start, they start, you know, thinking up ideas, thinking up potential teammates. That, that is really how this one started. I've been to your studio. Are you, are you in your studio right now? I am indeed. I think this started approximately – two-tenths of a mile from where you are currently located. Right. I know where your studio is, right? Yeah, You're yeah. right by that old Lakers facility? Oh, yeah. I'm right, we're right <laughs> down. We're right We're right up the street from the new one, too. We're right here. All right. So, the, yeah, the old and the new one are pretty close together. But the old one is, uh, is uh, I think, where Harden and, and, uh, Chris, and, and James, sorry, James Harden and Kevin Durant and all those guys, I think a couple weeks ago they were all working out down there. And uh, that this is how I heard of it, and it was, um, you know, it, it, now I've heard it from other players who have spoken to these guys, you know, about just sort of how the, I, the thought bubble and the idea came together. And um, this is, I think, it's a lot of trades in the NBA start like this, actually, uh, of just players talking to players, <laughs> right? And uh, you know, I don't know how they're going to pull this off because. For Houston, this is an existential question, okay? If you trade James Harden, what are you next? You have been James Harden's team since 2013, 2012, 2000, yeah, 2012, right after that finals. Um, it was like October of that year when they traded for him, and he became the face of the franchise, perennial MVP candidate, scoring leader. If, if you trade James Harden, what are you now? <laughs> um and I think that's a big question for the new regime there. You know, they, they, James has been that that franchise for the better part of this decade. You've got to get a massive haul for him. You can't just trade him for, for, for pieces because you don't trade a franchise player for, for pieces, you know, especially when he's coming off a year when he was right in the thick of the MVP conversation again. Um, are the pieces that the Nets could offer – foundational pieces i don't i don't think so i think they're good players um i think philly has a foundational piece they could offer but um they have to decide if they want to make this trade if they if they think that's a good fit there um it's, it's a really interesting question and i think for that new regime who you know just started in the sort of tumultuous circumstances uh the question that they're gonna have to ask you know sooner rather than later because Right now, James Harden is committed to them, but the second that commitment wavers, the second he pushes them to, to do something, I don't know how they push back. I don't know if they can. And I, this is this is going to be a really tough situation for them to navigate. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.